What's going on people, I'm Marcus B Gaming, and this video was all about the summoner or the rifle. Let's talk how to get it in some guy rolled opinions. Thanks for clicking, and if you like your D2 content short and sweet, press that red start button along with the bell. Let's go. Summoner is damn good cause it checks a lot of boxes that the best autos do. It's a 600 RPM, reliable and sturdy adaptive frame with good handling, reload speed, aim assist and recoil direction. This thing is good on its own but starts making magic when you throw perks towards range and stability. It can end up being a straight up laser beam. To get one, you have to get wins and trials of Osiris on the PvP side. The way it works is every weekend when trials comes back, there's a different trials weapon that starts to drop for you after either 3, 5 or 7 wins. After it drops the first time, it'll be in your loot pool when you turn in 20 trials tokens into Captain Russia for a package. This weekend it's on 3 wins, so it's the closest it'll be right now until reset. For perks, in the barrel, arrowhead break is nice, plus 10 handling and some recoil control. Extended barrel adds 10 range and recoil control, but takes away 10 handling. Handling is good on the gun so it won't hurt too bad. Chamber compensator is nice with plus 10 stability, moderate recoil control, and a 5 hit to handling. Polygonal rifling boosts stability by 10. Hammer forge rifling does the same for range, and small bore gives plus 7 to stability and range. For the mag, high caliber rounds adds 5 to range and causes a little flinch. A pendant mag gives you a fatter mag which is nice with the right perks. Ricochet rounds is always a dope choice. 5 more range, 10 to stability and bullets will bounce. And armor piercing rounds do extra damage to shields, over penetrate and add 5 to range. In the next slot, overflow will overload your mag when you pick up heavy or special ammo. Solid in PvE. Moving target adds movement speed and target acquisition when you aim. Zen moment is nice for adding stability as you do gun damage and dynamic sway boosts accuracy the longer you hold the trigger. In the last slot, if you're using a void subclass, you'll get a stability boost with elemental capacitor and it's more handling for arc and reload speed for solar. Rampage will boost damage immediately after a kill and stack up to 3 times. Dragonfly is nice in PvE for blowing up enemies with precision kills. Rangefinder adds range and zoom when aiming and celerity boosts target acquisition handling, reload, and flinch reduction when you're the last one alive on your fire team. My PvE role is small bore, armor piercing rounds, overflow, and rampage. For PvP, arrowhead, or chamber compensator, or small bore, high caliber, or ricochet rounds, moving target, zen moment, or dynamic sway, and elemental if you run void, range finder, and maybe celerity. Depends on your playstyle. These are my opinions though, and I'm trying to hear yours in the comments. I hope this helps, and if it does, likes, shares, and subs help the channel. I'm out.